Zach Pierce loves all things outdoors. I love shooting pole, skiing, hunting, um, fishing, shooting bows. Um, I, I did love riding four-wheelers. That is until a tragic accident. I was with one of my friends, um, and I was near home, and it was uh, a trail that I've been on hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of times. And I was just going right along like normal. And all of a sudden, I turned around to make sure my friend was behind me. And when I turned back around, I didn't even make it the whole way around and I couldn't see anything anymore. And just like that, Zach was blind and has been now for seven years. It's been a transition for sure. Um, it's actually not very bad. I don't mind it. I prefer not to, to be blind forever. And for years, he has been researching ways to regain his vision. From laser therapies to correction surgeries, genetic engineering, and even stem cell therapies. But when all seemed lost, that's when Zach found Dr. Kia Washington, a professor of plastic and reconstructive surgery at CU School of Medicine on the Anschutz campus in Aurora. I started embarking on research in eye transplantation probably about 10 years ago in 2013. Dr. Washington is working to restore vision through whole eye transplants, a procedure never successfully done in humans, but holds promise. So much promise, in fact, the U.S. Department of Defense Joint Warfighter Medical Research Program awarded her $6 million to further her research. We know that we have the technique to do it surgically. The next step is to restore vision and to get the optic nerve to regenerate. Dr. Washington and her team are working to find a way to restore the optic nerve and ultimately restore eye function. If achieved, it would be a medical breakthrough, not only for modern medicine, but for Zach. If there is a chance I can see, I think that chance will come from Dr. Washington. Of course, we want to make sure that it's safe, um, you know, for people like Zach, that it's safe to undergo the procedure and that, you know, we're going to get a good result and that it will change his life um, for the better. So it's definitely worth the wait. And... Um, we are optimistic that it will happen within the next decade. I'm Kennedy Cook covering Colorado First.